Oh, yeah, a little bit, but I knew it was probably a long shot, missing about four snaps worth of games, or four games worth of snaps, so not not too surprised. Hey, Jim, what have you seen in, in Denzel this year and how he's progressed? It seemed like early on they were picking on him, and maybe now they're not throwing his way. I know he's missed the last couple of games. Yeah, I mean, I think, well, even early in the year, that's where he had, got a bunch of interceptions in the first couple of games, so... Um, and then when you don't get thrown at as a corner, it's kind of a sign of respect that other teams aren't trying to test you and uh, allow you to make plays on the ball. And obviously, as a rookie coming in the NFL, the corner is probably the second most hardest position to play besides corner uh, quarterback um, because just the, the change in ball skills and the elite athletes of the wide receiver on every team, like every team across the NFL has a bunch of elite athletes at wide receiver who have ball skills, which you aren't really used to in college. So he's done a great job stepping into that role this year for us. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody, as soon as Miles got into the league, could see, like, if he was going to stay healthy a whole year, he's a Pro Bowl caliber player. So he's just proved us right this year um, in that respect. And obviously, he's a great year for us and got a lot of pressure on the quarterback and he's got a lot of sacks. How much did, how much did uh, you going last year help you being around? Yeah, I think um, it was just more, I think it helped mostly as, like, a motivational tool just to be able to experience uh, that, be able to see all the guys who you kind of grew up watching. Um, and then be able to talk to them kind of as peers and learn what they do in their day-to-day -day routine, their week-to-week -week routine. And then I'm just, the motivation I didn't want to get back there and work hard in the offseason is, is, was huge. So um, it, it's a great experience, and I think everybody who gets chosen to go to the Pro Bowl, I know a lot of people like sit out these days, but I think you should go if you have the chance. Hey, Joe, what's a, you were like to go from 1-31 in 31 to a team now that has a chance to have a, a winning record here for the first time in a month. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. It's since I've been here, he's like I said, one in 31 the first two years, and now turning it around, um, we have a chance to go eight, seven, and one um, if we win these last two games. And it's just you can just definitely feel the emotions and the the swagger in the locker room is just totally different than what it has been. And it's just exciting. It's going to be awesome going forward, and I think we're building something really special. Joe, to have a, a really young um, tandem corner and pass rusher in Denzel and Miles, how valuable is that for a defense that plays in the park? Yeah, I mean, today's NFL is a passing game, so I'd have a bookend defensive end who can get after the quarterback, um, get a lot of sacks or make them hurry throws, and have a, having a corner uh, who can go and make plays on the balls when they're in the air. Um, it works hand in hand. Uh, if corners are shutting down the, the passing and the quarterback pulling it uh, longer, you know Miles is going to get there. If Miles is pressuring the quarterback and, you know, he's going to be making uh, forced to throw some hurried throws, you know our secondary is going to be able to take advantage of it, and I think that's you've seen that this season. How important is it to, to finish – at home with the win, and what kind of atmosphere do you expect, especially after Baker kind of <laughs> challenged fans? Yeah, I definitely think it's going to be really exciting. Um, this will be the best game in December, home game that I've I've been a part of, and I'm expecting like uh, a, a sold-out crowd, everybody to be loud. It's the Battle of Ohio, so I know a lot of Browns fans are going to be wanting us to go 2-0 against the, the Bengals this year, and it's just going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. Christmas weekend, a lot of people will be out celebrating. Um, so, looking for a great atmosphere. Greg has talked a lot about you quarterbacking the defense, mm -hmm. making calls, changing things. Without giving away too much, what are your keys? What are you looking for? Yeah, I'm, well, overall, you have to look at the whole offensive formation and just the tendencies that they've put on tape and what they're getting ready to try to do and know the defense that we're in and how they might check uh, their, their system to combat what we're in and how we can check to go back right at them. So. I mean, there's just a lot of things, but mostly it's formational tips, maybe player stances. Uh, certain players do certain things in certain situations. If you can use that as a key and you, you're confident in your abilities, you can play off that stuff. So it's overall just a whole kind of reading of the entire offense, and sometimes it's down to a specific guy, sometimes it's down to a formation. Is there an example you can give us of a stance that might tip you? Well, I mean, typically in the NFL when you get, we call a three-by-two formation where you get three receivers one side and then the backs split off away from them, and then there's a tight end or a split-out receiver the other side. That's a heavy, heavy tendency to be pass uh, in the NFL, just getting the back out, getting five-man routes. Um, so things like that where you can check the defense to be in more coverage savvy. But then obviously some teams run the ball out of those, so you always have to be aware of that. But in, in general, usually that's a more pass prevalent thing. Joe, I know you're a big basketball guy. So what was Kobe Bryant to do? Yeah, that was awesome. Um, I was growing up. I was more of a LeBron fan than a Kobe fan, um, but I mean, just to be able to uh, hear what he had to say and kind of his mindset and to answer the questions that some of the guys asked was 
awesome. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity um, to go up and shake his hand after. And just, you know, the things that he's telling you is, are genuine. You see, you saw it for 20 years on the NBA court, how he went out and how he's an ultra competitor and a winner. So if you could just take a couple things from what he said and apply it to your own life, I think everybody in this locker room is grateful for the experience and will benefit from it. Why were you guys so effective against Lindsey? And does the same stuff apply to Mixon? Yeah, I think um, well, Phil Lindsey's had a great year and he's done a lot of good things. Um, but if we were able to set hard edges and our D-line did a great job of getting penetration, ma making him stop his feet. Stop the run to earn the right to rush the pass. Exactly, that's what they did. And so all the, all the D-line did their job, set the run, got a lot of penetration. Uh, linebackers were flowing over the top, corners were coming in, setting edges, and uh, we did a good job knocking it out.